In this video, you'll see how to set up an Amazon Managed Service for Grafana, or AMG, dashboard with CloudWatch integration. With AMG, you can create a Grafana workspace, create authentication for that workspace, and then add Amazon CloudWatch as a data source so you can visualize logs, metrics, and traces in Grafana. Let's start by navigating to Amazon Managed Service for Grafana, or AMG. Grafana is a popular open source analytics platform that enables you to query, visualize, alert on, and understand your metrics, no matter where they are stored. If you have not already created any Grafana workspaces with AMG, you will be prompted to create one. A workspace is a logically isolated Grafana server that you can integrate with your data sources so you can query and visualize metrics. As part of creating a workspace, you must enable AWS Single Sign-On, or SSO, if you haven't done so already. In this case, SSO was automatically detected. Next, you'll choose a permission type. Select Customer Managed if you want to manually create an AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role that allows the Grafana workspace to access your AWS services data. Select Service Managed to automatically provision permissions for the AWS services that will have their data read through the Grafana dashboard. We'll choose this option. Specify whether you want Grafana to monitor resources in the account you're using to create the workspace or in your organizational units. Next, select which AWS data sources you want Grafana to monitor. You must also select a notification channel that Grafana can use to create alerts, if necessary. Review the details and create the workspace. Once you have a Grafana workspace, the next step is to define the users and groups that are allowed access to the Grafana data dashboard. Let's head over to AWS Single Sign-On to add a user. Let's create a new group alongside this sample user. All members of the group will be allowed access to the Grafana dashboard. Let's add the user to the new group. Now we can assign our group to the Grafana dashboard, so that any user in the group can access the dashboard through their AWS SSO credentials. We'll assign administrator privileges so this user can also create dashboards and views within Grafana. Let's sign in as the user we created. We are now in the Grafana dashboard as an administrator. To begin using Grafana's dynamic data visualization capabilities, Let's connect to a data source using the AWS Data Sources plugin. We'll select CloudWatch, which will allow us to visualize CloudWatch metrics and logs for a range of AWS services. Next, we'll select a dashboard to import into Grafana. We can import pre-built dashboards for the different AWS services that CloudWatch is monitoring in the selected region. Let's import CloudWatch logs. This dashboard already has a few panels set up and pre-populated with metrics from several different AWS services. We can also create a custom dashboard. Graphed metrics are added by specifying queries, which stream data by continuously performing that query on the data source specified. As an example, let's query for CPU utilization in all of our ECS containers. If desired, we can add more queries, representing different resources and different metrics. Let's name our panel and apply the changes. Here's the dashboard with the panel we just made. Additional panels can be added as needed.
You've just seen how to set up an Amazon managed service for Grafana dashboard with CloudWatch integration. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.